Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Spotlight. Today we're going to be checking out some hiking trails located in the city of San Pedro. The road we're traveling on contains many twists and turns because it cuts through Rancho Palos Verdes. While it might be a little bit bumpy, the view here is very breathtaking. Is this your first time here? Yes. How would you describe the drive? Pretty smooth. Did you see anything interesting while, while driving around here? Um, houses. You can see it from the top. Mm. The houses on the top. So since now that we're here, what do you think of the place so far? I'm gonna come again with my parents. Why would you say that? Because I like the, the view, the nice view. What about the view do you find it nice? The water, the ocean. Is it just like so big or just like... Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. When I, was, when I first came here, I was about elementary. We had like a field trip and they had like, they made us go on those, they did a little tour and they like made us touch snakes, tarantulas, they let us hold a snake. And then they showed us like the, like the, um, the snake when it, like, it peels apart. Not peels apart, like the, what's it called? The snake skin? Yeah, snake skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in high school, I came here for um, a, just to be in this area, just to hang out, a little group. And then to, in the last time I was here with you guys, and this other time here too. How does it feel coming back here after so many years? It, it, it's just like, wow. I, I, so many memories, so many memories. Many, many memories. The Nature Center provides a wide array of exhibits to explore. From indoor classrooms, live exhibits, and collected specimens, there is so much to check out. Its operations are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., running from Tuesday through Sunday. Inside the exhibit, there is a bunch of animals there, from like lizards, snakes, to tarantulas. Which do you uh, find yourself more drawn towards? Um, I like lizards. Ooh, everyone's been seeing lizards as of late. Any reason why? Um, because like they're small and they don't they do any like they don't like move around as much. We saw the animals inside this par uh, park center and. And we saw snakes, and we saw the owl, and and we saw the rabbit, and uh, and skunk, and raccoon. What was your favorite animal you saw? My favorite animal is snakes. Why do snakes in particular? Because snake it is a slowly animal, and 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 it keeps go walking slowly, slowly. I want to take a quick moment to discuss safety when trekking around an active nature preserve. While we've only covered the nature center throughout our visit, the area still covers roughly 130 acres that many animals consider home. This means there are a lot of nooks and crannies where critters like to hide and preferably remain undisturbed. Wild animals can occur within a moment's notice, so taking extra precautions is always important. 
Even though this is a brief overview, I highly recommend researching any location you plan to visit for a trip. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife provides a number of protocols and information on their website regarding the native animals dwelling in various state biomes. Let's discuss three notable examples that are typically found inside this area. Rattlesnakes. It's best to stay vigilant, especially during spring and summertime. Different types of venomous and non-venomous snakes consider this area home as we hike along the designated paths. Keep your eyes and ears peeled for the telltale sound that these creatures emit to prevent any unwanted encounters. These native reptiles are cold-blooded and require the sun's heat to perform various functions. While dangerous, they serve an important role in the ecosystem and should be treated with respect. If you've ever been hiking in Southern California, you've probably either heard a rattle or maybe even seen a rattlesnake. So the important question is what should you do if you see a rattlesnake? So rattlesnakes are really cool, and we have several species that occur here in Southern California. They're very important to our natural system in that they keep our rodent population in check. You're more likely to encounter rattlesnakes in the spring and summer months when the days are longer and the weather's a little warmer. The first thing to remember if you do see a rattlesnake is that they are venomous. They do rattle to let us know of their presence. Another th important thing to remember is that they are more afraid of us than we are of them. The best thing you can do is keep a safe, respectful distance for both you and the snake, which is going to be about 10 feet. If you're bitten by a rattlesnake, stay calm and seek immediate medical attention. Hey, how's it going? Raccoons Sometimes called trash pandas by people, these mammals are great at controlling rodent and insect populations. They act as nature's vacuum by removing carry-on from around our homes. If it were not for animals like raccoons, we could be knee-deep in rodents. Certain states actually allow these creatures as pets, believe it or not. Yes! 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 I'm walling a wild raccoon. You ready? Let's go. Oh my god. If properly cared for, they can live for up to 20 years compared to 3 years in the wild. Although, these animals come with their fair share of risks. The one to be most concerned about is rabies. This disease is highly deadly and should be treated with the highest precaution. Thus, it's best to stay away from these animals to prevent the possibility of an infectious encounter. If you encounter a raccoon, key in on the behavior of the raccoon before calling for assistance. Look for either a staggering gait, the animal seemingly oblivious to noise or nearby movement, erratic wandering, discharge slash foam from the eyes or mouth, wet and matted hair on the face, repeated high-pitched vocalization, or self-mutilation. If you see a raccoon with any of these signs, call your local animal control or police department. Raccoon attacks on domestic pets are rare, and in most cases it's usually our pet dogs and cats initiating attacks, which often leads to injury for both. Pets such as fowl, birds, rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, mice and rats, etc. will be considered as food to predators, so they should be kept indoors when possible. Raccoon attacks on humans are very rare. However, there are circumstances that can precipitate an attack, such as feeding, cornering, or enticing a raccoon. Majority of wild animals are easily frightened by people, so they should be scared away at every opportunity. 
If you come across a raccoon that doesn't turn tail and run after frightening it, or if the raccoon is out in the middle of the day, the animal may be sick, injured, maybe protecting young, or conditioned to the presence of humans through feeding. If you are unsure of how to handle a wildlife conflict, contact your local humane or animal services agency. Coyotes. Coyotes keep a balance in nature by eating rodents, small mammalian predators, and sometimes they may eat rattlesnakes and scorpions. They also help remove carrion from our roadways and hillsides. Coyotes and other wildlife help to proliferate our flora by distributing the seeds of plants, fruits, and trees by passing them through their poop. The saguara cactus, which is endangered, is one such plant that coyotes have had a paw in helping. So you may be wondering, what should I do if a coyote approaches me? All you have to do is wave your arms, shout in a low, loud tone, throw objects at the coyote while maintaining eye contact. Make yourself look as big as possible. If you are wearing a jacket, take it off and swing around over your head. If possible, go towards active or populated areas but do not turn your back and run from the coyote as that could trigger a chase. Remember these rules whenever encountering wild animals. Do not provoke them unless absolutely necessary. Now, let's sit back and enjoy the many scenic views this place has to offer. How did you enjoy the hike? Um, it was fun. I liked the hike. What about it was fun? Um, we saw animals. We go inside the museum. What kind of animals did you like? Um, my favorite part, my favorite animal is the spiders. Mm. Did you enjoy the view? I enjoyed the view. Would you, would you say it's kind of beautiful? Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. What do you like specifically about hiking? Uh, well, I like, hi well I, I like hiking because um, you explore Mother Nature. What did you like about today? Walking oh, the hike. What about the hike did you like? The DN the DN Well, what did you think of the animals? They're cool. What about them are cool? The reptiles. What kind of reptiles did you like? Uh the snake. Why do you like the snake? Because it's the fastest animal. Really? It's fast? Yeah. Ooh yeah, good point. Uh, what what did you like about the hike? Because I was walking in the hills. Ooh, you were going pretty fast, huh? Yeah, I was we're really fast. You're going pretty fast? Yes, Patrick. I like yeah. Would you come back here? Yes, I will come back here, Patrick. Is this your first time visiting uh, the place? Yes. What do you think of it so far? It's good and calm. Why do you find it calm? Because it's quiet and peaceful. What do you think of the view from here? Uh, I like the view. 
like the ocean, the houses, um, the pool, mm -hmm. and the street. What kind of animals did you see? Uh, birds. What do you like about birds? I don't know. <laughs> no worries. Uh, would you come back here again? Yeah. Any reason why? I will come here with my family, walk in here someday. Did you like the hike? Yeah. Why'd you like the hike? It's nice to walk. Mm. What did you see while out on the hike? Poison. What was that? The ocean. Ooh. Did you like it? What do you like about today? The view. What about the view? Um, like you gotta see everything from up here. Everything. Like everything you can see. It's like you're on top of like up heaven. Or something like that. What did you think of the animals when we first visited? Uh, the first thing I, I saw, I jumped. I saw a live bunny and I jumped on the trail. I got scared by a bunny. What about the uh, animals inside the, the center? Inside of the museum? Yeah. Okay, that was um, interesting. Pretty interesting. It's kind of it's kind of crazy how they can like stuff animal stuff those kind of animals and preserve them. Like, it's kind of cool how they do that. Mm, what about the live animals on display, like the snakes and the tarantulas? That the, the, the tarantula and my raw snake were my favorite by then, by there. What about them were your favorite? Uh, raw snake I like the favorite because they warn you, means you don't they don't, and then the tarantula they're very furry and I like that. What did you see on the hike? A hike, a bunny. The bunny came like, it, we were walking I hit down the hill and a bunny came right across the thing and yeah, I saw that. What did you think of the view? It's like, it's like uh, amazing. Like, met... it's, like, it's like one lifetime, like one lifetime that you can see. In a few words, why would you recommend coming back here? Recommend, uh, it's beautiful. You can like find like it's it's just so beautiful. I can't explain it. Overall, how would you rate today? I would want to get but I would like I don't know. Like on a scale of zero to five. Five easily, easily five, easily. Why to five? It brings some memories back, and I like it's if you go here like many times, it brings some memories. And then five because it's just the hiking, if exercise is good. And the view is pretty good, also. You, you can you can you can find some shells, like snee sails, and just different hiking sticks. What do you like about hiking? It feels good. Uh, what about it feels good? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Walk. Hmm. Have you been to this place before? I've never been to it. Hmm. What do you think of the view? It was good. What about it was good? Uh, I saw the hawk. Hmm. You saw a hawk? Yeah. 